So hi again, and uh, welcome to the last screencast in the topic uh, section, topic five, section one, five point one, and this is on something called EMF, electromag, uh, electromotive force, and internal resistance. So uh, the electromotive force is another name, really just another name for the uh, the voltage on a battery. It's the uh, push, uh, and uh, the internal resistance is something that all uh, chemical batteries have. So if you see this dotted line here, this is a like oh, this is a battery, and we can model a a battery with a standard voltage source, ideal voltage source, plus a small um, again, parasitic resistance. And it's typically pretty small, especially when the battery is new. This does uh, g grow larger as the battery ages and, and dies. And what you end up ha having here is you have this voltage here, um, is, which is at least the rated um, voltage of the cell. You have uh, a voltage drop, right? I times R, current times the resistance, produces a voltage. So we have a slight voltage drop across this resistor. So it would be slightly less than the um, internal EMF of the battery, the, uh, and that's called the terminal voltage. And that's the actual voltage and the terminals of the battery. That's the endpoints. This would be the negative side. This would be the uh, positive side. And that's the little metal contacts on either end of the battery. Those are called the terminals. So we have this circuit where we have current flowing again from the positive side through a um, an external resistor and then back again to the battery. And this, uh, this, this total uh, voltage here, the terminal voltage is current, is as, uh, equals, this is another symbol for voltage, I should tell you that. The script E is really just V. So V equals I times R. Well, in this case, you've got this uh, your resistor that you put in the circuit, but you've also got this little resistor that comes inside the battery itself, which you can't do anything about. So let's um, let's see what comes next. Here we have okay. There's a definition of EMF. Okay, and some of you may have seen this when you actually. Uh, connected a battery and measures its voltage, it's, it's slightly less when you've connected it to a resistance, such as a bulb. It drops slightly. Well, that's called the, uh, the terminal voltage. That's the actual voltage across the battery. So if you need to measure accurately the voltage uh, in a circuit, you want to do that when the circuit is operating. So batteries, all batteries, um, when you just test their voltage, and they're not doing any work, it's very easy for the battery to display its um, normal new voltage. But as soon as you ask it to do some work, it just you know can't do it. It says, oh, man. oof. Okay, so here's an example of this situation where I have a 9-volt battery, a typical transistor battery. And uh, this is not an atypical situation where the voltage drops to 8.95 volts when the battery is supplying 100 milliamps of current. It's actually a pretty good 9-volt battery if it can do that and still maintain 8.95 uh, volts. Uh, so what's the internal resistance of the battery? So I'll pause this here and uh, show you not just the answers, but answer, but how to work it out. So I'll pause it right here and uh, wait for you. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Pause it now. Thanks. Okay, and uh, here comes the uh, how, to, how to work out this problem. So the terminal voltage is going to be the electromotive force of the battery, which is our 9 volt, that's what it's rated at, uh, minus I times R. And this little R is our, what we want to solve for. Now the terminal voltage is going to be this 8.95. So here's our equation, and once we have that set up, it's pretty trivial to solve for R. When you do that, you get about a half of an ohm. So what's, uh, what are sources of uh, electromotive force? Well, you probably know some. It's, uh, you can have a generator. That's an electromagnetic source of EMF. Chemical would be that's your standard uh, battery. You have uh, electrons being transferred through uh, uh, oxidation reduction reaction. Uh, the photoelectric effect, which is my personal hero, like solar energy. 
Uh, the piezoelectric effect you've probably never heard of, but it turns out if you have a crystal uh, and you put a strain on that crystal, and literally just squish it, um, you generate a voltage on one side of it. And you might have seen one of these, um, like if you have a gas stove, uh, the little sparker that starts your uh, burner flame or your um, oven flame. Oh, that's a uh, piezoelectric um, a crystal that creates the spark. Uh, very high voltage, but very low current. Uh, butane lighter, the little clicker, you click the uh, the trigger on the butane lighter and it generates a spark. Or um, the little push button thing on your gas grill does the same thing. Thermoelectric effect is, um, this is a very weak effect actually. If you take two dissimilar metals and um, put them in contact with each other and then add heat, uh, they'll generate a small voltage between them. Here's a convenient table, uh, it's kind of a summary of electrical quantities. You have the electrical quantity here, uh, the symbol that's used, the unit. Uh, here's some other comments. Notice um, electron volt is, is an energy. And here's some common equations that are used in um, circuit analysis. Okay, just a little vocab game here. So I'll, I'll let you fill in the blanks. I'll, here's your word bank. And uh, you can pause the video here while you try and fill in the blanks. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And uh, here are your answers. How'd you do? Good, I hope. Okay, and I think that's it. Yes, we're going to move on to 5.2 next. So uh, that's it. Uh, we'll see you.